That was one tough death's head. But it won't command anyone now. Without their general, the dead walkers should leave us alone for a while. But they'll reorganize, so we can't stay here. You're right, mercenary. Let's use the time to leave. It's now or never if we're going to get to Karalthas. My father and the armies of the Free Nations should be there. If we hurry, we may be able to participate in the mother of all battles and finally push back the Ice Lords. If thou dost throw thyself into this battle, the only thing that thou wouldst find is thy death, and the only chance thou hast for saving this world will disappear with thee. Their armies will not win. He knows this, but that is not what motivates him. He is seeking his father's approval. He wants to buy the crown by delivering us to his king. He believes we are at his command. But he is mistaken. I only serve and live for the world heart. Thy elven city is closer. I can feel it. Forget these suicidal battles. If thou join with them, thy so-called friends will end up turning against thee out of fear or envy. The captain trusts me. He listens to me and knows what decisions to make. He'll back me up. The good little soldier who would give his life for his captain. Dost thou truly believe it is reciprocal? Thy captain sees money and the survival of his precious company first. He has no vital need for thee, and that would always be one share less. Thou hast no more choice. Thou must hasten to the world heart and purify it. It is thine only chance. Do combat there, and if thou art not slain, at least one of thy companions, if not all of them, will betray thee to try to control or study the power I bring thee. Vulcan? Vulcan? You were far away. Is it the demon? He was talking to you, wasn't he? Yes. It happens sometimes. You have to make a decision soon. Will you join us in the battle at Karalthas? I don't know yet. I understand. It's been a long day. I'll let you think it over for a while. Let me know when you've made a decision. Prince Arundel is asking us to join up with his forces in Karalthas to fight the Dead Walker army. What do you think? For years now, the Knight has fought in many battles and with many different armies. The generals, the kings, and the chiefs of those armies were usually ready to sacrifice the lives of their men with no remorse in order to win. If the mercenary goes to Karalthas, this prince will use him for his own purposes and sacrifice him if needs be. He cares for nothing beyond his own safety. And if he is faced with the Ice Lords, he would turn and flee, as did his brothers before him. The knight is weary of these doubts and petty thoughts. He wishes to return to the attack and strike the Ice Lords at their very hearts. If he was in the mercenary's place, he would listen to the demon and follow its plan. And he would like to know that he would not stand alone in this final battle. We'll be able to break camp soon. Where's our next objective? For now, we're going to stick with the Red Scribes. They haven't paid us yet, and they won't until we reach Karalthas. In any case, that's where we're headed. I sent Wolf on ahead of us a few weeks ago to see if he could find fresh volunteers for us, but I don't think there's much hope of that. This war is looking worse and worse for us. In ten years fighting, the Dead Walkers haven't lost a single battle. I suppose we could hide for a while. But considering what's left of Vertio, that would be like hiding in a pile of ashes. We have to come up with some alternatives. And for now, I can only think of one. The Demon. For the moment, it's the only card we have left to play. Thy captain is less stubborn than thee. Thinks I should perhaps have chosen him as a vessel. 
That's not a good idea, Captain. As long as we still don't know what he is, and more importantly, what he wants, I wouldn't trust him. Well, up until now, he's been useful. I think if he'd wanted to harm us, he would have already done it, huh? But it's you that has to live with him, so I guess it's up to you. Do you think we ought to follow the Prince to Caliphas? If you want to get to the World Heart, we'll need to go by there. But the Prince's company seems both unnecessary and dangerous. Believe me, I know his type all too well. Invested with a mission, he is soon overwhelmed by... probably named by some obscure prophecy. In the name of his family, or because of an idealized vision of his future duties as sovereign, he will give his all. In other words, all his imbecility. Chasing after glory and honor, unprepared and unprotected, he will only lead us to disaster. Seeing the shit we're in, I don't think he's doing it just for the glory. He's got an interest in having everybody survive. And in making it look like everyone has survived entirely due to his talents, and not those of a mercenary who can produce flames and defeat a general of the Deadwalkers. Do you really believe he wants you around just because he enjoys your company? Not to mention the increasing threat implied by our friends dressed all in red. What do you suggest we do? When we get to Carol Thass, we better give them the slip and head to Blackfrost's domain. Why should we go down there? Because those lands are positioned quite close to the City of the Elves, and like all the lands of the Ice Lords, it's a point of entry into the World Heart. What do you intend to do now? We can't stay here. I have to talk things over with the other members of my order. But we planned on going to Karalthas. And I think that is still the best idea. Everything that is left of the human and elf armies is there. If we join forces, we should be strong enough to hold out against the Deadwalkers. The contract with your company only ends once there, anyway. And I doubt your captain wants to break it. What's more, it might be an excellent opportunity to learn more about your guest. The Elven Sages are famous, and their library holds many reference books. And I suggest, until we should learn more, that you neither listen to it nor obey it. I think it's lying to you, manipulating you, and that it has other goals than just our survival. Arundel wants me to go with him to Karolthas. What do you think? You should go with him. Karolthas is our only hope for now, and the Prince seems like a good man. We would be safer there. Both the human and elven armies are gathered there, and I believe you may find some answers there also. The elven sages are some of the wisest people on Vertiel. If anyone can figure out what has happened to you, they can. It's pretty obvious what happened to me. A demon has somehow gotten into my head, and now I gotta live with it. And this does not worry you? Yeah, it's starting to scare me. I can imagine. These new powers come at a price, and I fear that you, Vulcan, your very self, may be the price that has to be paid. You must go to Carolthas so they can examine you. I believe you must find a way to control this thing, or even rid yourself of it before it's too late. Do you think we should listen to Prince Arundel and go with him to Carolthas? The great elven army and what is left of the human army in this part of Vertiel are now gathering at Caroldfass. Separately, none of these troops stood a chance, but united. Well, in any case, it's the only hope we have left. Reinforcements from the Freeborn Blades and Red Scribes will help, and so will you from what I've seen. And even if I don't approve of all the strategic choices made by my sovereign these last few years, I think he'll rise to the occasion now that he can no longer retreat. He knows the lands around Carol Thass perfectly, so I'm sure he will bring the battle onto terrain that will favor us. And since you're curious to know more about what happened to you, my people's scholars are famous. They can surely help you. You've got it all figured out. I believe we can manage to hold the Deadwalker army back this time, though it's a bit early to start celebrating.
There you are, at last. So, have you made your decision? I will fight with you at Carolthas. Your army may be our only chance of victory. Idiot! Thou hast sentenced thyself to death! go with the others to Carolthas to swell our ranks, combine our forces, and face the Deadwalker army on equal terms. Equal terms? Because thou hast slain a vassal far from his master, do not presume too much upon this body. Now draw close to the domain of one of these necromancers. Faced with his power, a thousand soldiers more or less will make no difference. The power to slay this vermin lies within us. But it cannot be used from such a weak vessel, nor can it even be protected from those who covet it. I am more and more powerful. Yes, yet still not powerful enough. And this city is of no interest. The necromancer will lay waste to it with a weave of his hand. While he tarries, thou must make haste to reach his palace. You said that I lacked the power. I will not throw myself into the wolf's jaws. When thou returnest to the world, heart, none will stand before us. Thou wouldst already possess the power to destroy this sorcerer and his like, if thou hadst but allowed the evolution of this useless body. Look upon thyself. Thou art duped. Vulcan, have you seen something? They use thee. 